Hello, my name's Terry. My call sign, Golf 4, Papa, Oscar, Papa, G4, POP. Today's tutorial is about confirmations and how LookFroM handles confirmations. So what are confirmations? It's a confirmation of a QSO that you may have had. It can be confirmed either by card or eQSO, Lookbook of the World, QRZ, Club Look or any other electronic media. Recording a confirmation status used to be easy. Since the earliest days of confirming a QSO by card, the recording of a QSO sent or received status was by a simple yes or no. And this is an excerpt from a logbook. You can see the card has been sent to G3 AOIZ but not received yet. So life used to be easy, and then there was ADIF. This is the automatic data interchange, interchange format. Amateur, sorry, amateur data change interface format, commonly used by most looking programs. But at one point, they decided to change the meaning of yes and no, and make it not quite as understandable. So let's look at those formats. So first of all, yes remains as it always has been. It's a confirmation that a confirmation has been sent or has been received. No, however, has changed. It now means not no, I have not sent a, com a confirmation or no, I have not sent a QSL. It means do not send a confirmation or a confirmation has not been received. Whereas requested now means what the old boys like myself used to understand as no. A confirmation has been requested by the other station or by this station. So this has taken the place of the no as far as ADIF is concerned. There are two other options. Queued, which is an outgoing confirmation selected and waiting to be sent. That could also be used as a no if you like. And also ignore or invalid. QSA is not valid for a confirmation and should or should be ignored. You could have an example where it's a pirate station or perhaps you don't want to confirm any local stations and they could be marked ignored. Instead of tying you rigidly to the ADIF specification, LogFroM provides the user with a choice. So how does LogFroM version 2 user confirmation status? Well, <coughs> first of all, dependent upon what the confirmation is set to, it will automatically set the QSOs which are to be uploaded electronically to Logbook of the World or EQSL. It can be also used for searching the QSOs which are to be manually or electronically uploaded. For selecting which QSL card labels are to be printed. And for filtering QSOs to check which ones require confirmations. And for updating imported QSOs which do not have a net confirmation status. This quite often quite happens. Either the <coughs> QSL status is not stated on the incoming QSO, perhaps from a contest logger, or from some of the very old login programs where they were using sent instead of yes, uh, which of course confuses the issue. In that case, they will be set to whatever the default is in LogFroM. So how do we configure LogFroM version 2 to handle these choices. Well, it's down to the user. So let's look at how. In the program, we select the settings menu and select program configuration. As you're confronted with the configuration screen, as you'll see that the, <coughs> the confirmations tab has been selected. And if we take as one example how this works, we'll select EQSL and these are the default settings. The sent is requested. It's not yes, it's not no, it's requested. And this applies to all uh, QSOs when you're searching. So if we save and apply that, we can now see how that works. If we go to Utilities, QSL Manager, and in the QSL Manager, select EQSLs. If we now click the button Select Required, that will search all the 
curso's in this logbook and provide a list of those curso's which are to be um, sent or uploaded if you like and notice what happens when I click this select required I click the button straight away the sent is requested because that's what the default is set at in the program configuration you now have a list of requested QSOs below so let's take a step back go back to the settings program configuration confirmations go to the EQSL and let's change it let's set it to no I'm old-fashioned if my QSL card or logbook of world confirmation has not been sent I consider it to be no. I don't consider I've requested it, I consider I have not sent it, it's no. So we'll save that. Now when we go to the utilities and go to QSL Manager and select EQSL, see what happens when we click the select required button. It changes sent to no, it's no longer requested. Now it's giving you a list of those QSOs where they are marked sent no. That is how we give the user the option of what should be the default setting for searching and selecting QSLs. The same will apply if you look at uh, label print. The same search parameters will be used in label print if you start looking for a selection of QSOs. If you're importing QSOs, the same default settings that you have selected in the program will be cho chosen for an import if there's any modification to be done. I hope this makes the confirmations fairly clear. If you have any further questions, well, you could ask them on the forum. Um, or alternatively, look at our frequently asked questions. Or, worst comes to worst, you could even read the, the handbook. <laughs> Thank you for watching and hope uh, we'll see you.